Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Yarrow is one of the oldest botanicals used by human, and its history can be traced back to 65,000 years ago. Yarrow has many benefits, including anti-inflammatory, antiviral, antibacterial, calming, digestive, stimulating, and tonic. In my last video, I talked about how to make the yarrow tea and tincture and they can help relieve the cold and the fever and help with sweating and a clean wound. In this video, I will demonstrate you how to make a yarrow hydrosol by steam distillation and their benefits. Before we start the distillation, the first question we need to answer is which part of a the plan we're going to use for the distillation. For yarrow, the aerial part that includes the flower, leaf, and a stem. Research study the essential oil concentration within the different parts. They found flower is 10 times higher than its leaf and a stem. Yarrow is one of the herb that has the lowest essential oil concentration from one ton of the yarrow plant you can make around 500 milliliter of the oil. And if we use the flour, then we can have a relatively higher essential oil yield. When we are doing the small scale distillation, we can always make a high quality hydrosol, and especially from the flour, that is the part I use today. So if you grow yarrow, and uh, what is the right time to harvest yarrow for the best uh, achievements? It's a time when the yarrow has flower. During the blossom period, research found the essential composition concentration reached the peak. And that is the best time to harvest your flower and even leaves and stems. Cloudy yarrow hydrosol means it has a dispersed essential oil and this makes it more potent to be used to help treat uh, some of the ailments. And the yarrow hydrosol has a quite similar smell with a chamomile because they all contain the camisoline. That is also bring its essential oil into a blue color as a chamomile oil. And to use this beautiful hydrosol, there are five recommended ways. The first one, thanks to its anti-inflammatory, antiseptic, it's good to be used for the acne and the damaged skin. You can just directly spray on the skin or use make a lotion. The second way is can help to calm down the flu, the cold and the fever, and reduce the pain or the aches associated with the uh, flu and the cold. The third one is useful to help uh, treat the cuts and the wounds, irritated skin, and razor burns. The fourth one, yarrow helps to calm itching associated with eczema and psoriasis. It can be used as a spray directly onto the affected area or in a compress. And the last one, pet seems to like the fragrance of yarrow and you can use this to help them to calm and the balance. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you learned something today. Uh, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. See you next time.